Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we are going to continue our series of videos regarding automatic number sequences. This is very useful for doing uh, codes or reference codes for multiple products. What I did last video was to do a very simple consecutive number using the function sequence and the function count A. With this I could have any list I want here I could add another name and, and automatically I will have my number. I have had a couple of questions about this video. The first one is how do I expand this a bit? For example, I want to add some letters before. So we're going to add here ref2 and I want this to be first a reference and then a number. For example, I want this to be ref1 and then this ref2, so I, I shouldn't name this header ref2, but code or something like that. This I could do it very easily, just selecting my two references, knowing that this has a sequence and then dragging it down, it does it automatically. But I want it to, to be more automatic, that each time I add some new codes, it refreshes, and if I remove a row, for example, it also refreshes. So how do I do this? So I could use the same sequence formula here and I can try to add my code or to concatenate my code before to see if it will work. I can let you know in advance that it may not work. Let's change this to all caps, just a, a pet pip. Okay, so let's try to put reference before. I'm going to, to do ref, close my quotation marks, give it an ampersand, and let's see what happens. Why does this doesn't drag down automatically? Because I'm mixing apples and oranges. I'm mixing a text with an array function. So I need to uh, change this to be an array. So what I can do is enclose all of these in array formula. I'm going to say Control Shift Enter to put it in an array formula and press Enter two times and apparently it works. Okay, so if I add a new one here, Pedro, I have my ref9. Perfect. What if I don't want this to be a ref but maybe 0001 or ref 0001? So I could say ref four zeros. Enter. The thing with this is when I have more than when I start having double digits here. If I put here another one, Gabriel, I have here 00010. Maybe I want this to be one zero less. Okay, so how do I do this? One possibility is that depending on, on the digits that we have here, it puts the number of zeros. This may be a bit complicated, but let's try it. For now, I'm going to keep all these zeros, but I'm going to add a new function that is called row from A to A so that we keep here in our array formula notation A colon A close. Let's see what happens. So this doesn't work. This should be from A2 to A. So here I have my row 2, my row 3, my row 4, my row 5 my row six. Actually, you can see that this is another way of uh, doing this instead of the sequence. So I could remove the sequence, bye-bye sequence, and I can subtract one from my row. Let's put it in parentheses. Subtract one. And I can have my, my consecutive, no problem, but the problem is that I also have numbers when I don't have anything here. So I could do an if here that if in my column A I don't have a value, then I should leave it without anything. So I can say if A2 column A, A2 up to A, if it equals to empty, then I should leave it empty. If not, I could put what 
all, all, all my formula with the row and everything. So enter, and that's it. Why did I do all this change from the sequence formula that was much simpler? Because I want to uh, be able to remove a zero when this is 10. How do I know this is 10? For example, here I could say row. Very easily I could say that if this row is greater than 10, then I should leave only three zeros. If it's greater or equal than 10. So I could say here, here I could put an if statement that if this same row a to a minus one is greater or equal 10, then my value will be ref only three zeros. Uh, let, actually, let's put only three zeros. And if not, it will be without the ref four zeros. And my ref, I will I put it here before this, before my here. So it will be ref because the the ref letter the ref letters will always be will, will never change. So why include it in the in the if? So let's see. Apparently it works. So I'm just saying that if the row, if one row up from this number is 10 or greater than 10, just keep it with three zeros. And we could, for example, get ahead of ourselves. For example, when I have a hundred, so I could do another if. So I could say, if, again, my row a to a, I could do this with a switch function or an ifs function, but Sometimes they interfere with my array formula, so I prefer to keep it simple. Row a to a minus one is greater or equal than a hundred. Then my number will be just two zeros. Else, try this other if for ten. Else, just leave it as it is. So we can close the parentheses here. Let's press enter and let's have some uh, 100 numbers. I'm just going to drag this down up to 101. Okay. This, let's wait a bit. And here you can see that in my 99, I have three zeros. In my 100, I have 100. Okay. So let's get a bit ahead of ourselves more. And let's sometime, someday I may reach a thousand. So again, Let's leave it open for a thousand. I'm just going to open another if. If row a to a is greater than a thousand. Ro sorry, if row a to a minus one is greater than a thousand. Just, I'm, I'm going to need only one zero. Zero. Else, look for a hundred and else look or 10, and if not, just leave the four zeros. Close this parenthesis before the row. That's it. It works really well, I think. Lastly, I'm going to change this array formula here, up here, just so that if I filter or I do anything, just, just you need to be careful with this, because if you reorder this, the names, or have a filter, something this will change so be very careful actually my, my preferred method is to do it with a with a code so that it gets hard coded and this is a value actually this is a formula so if you reorder this then the the, the codes or the reference will change so it, this may affect you so just be careful with this then you can copy and paste it as values if you wish or something that, that's up to you so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this array formula here in my in my headers just so I'm so I'm safer with my formula so that if I filter something this won't damage anything. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to wrap this code inside quotation marks and I'm going to put an equal sign so that this is a formula and finally I'm going to put it inside these brackets that mean that this is an array. 
This way now I can put just a semicolon, paste my array formula, press enter. It's going to give an error while I delete this C2 and now it works perfectly. So everything, all my formulas are nested in here in my C1 cell. So guard it with your life. Yes, this will be very important. That's it. We've uh, enhanced a bit our simple number code that we did in the last video with a, a more optimized code where I could add some letters, add some numbers that change depending on the number of digits. I could do this much more complex. One thing that you've asked me a lot is that what happens if I have some categories? For example, I have my clients in in category VIP or frequent or whatever, and I want to do different references for different clients so that if I have my VIP and this one is a VIP, this will be VIP 001. And then I have another VIP that is this Pedro, and this will be VIP 002. This is much, much more complex. Busted my head trying to do it. And I know that some people in the comments have also uh, tried to do it and it's with one formula and it's very, very difficult. So maybe this will be the third video. So for now, I just hope you like it. And if so, you can, you may subscribe to the channel and making sure to click on the notifications button. And you can support me also in my Patreon page where you'll find all the, the sample sheets for all of my videos. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.